Jewel and limited Russian technology transfer scam. In 2011, John Podesta joined the board of a very small energy company called Jewel Energy, based out of Massachusetts. The only way he could be considered for this position is through his political clout in combination with Harry Reid's Clean Energy Project and his ties to Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Al Gore, and Hillary Clinton. Jewel Unlimited placed a big bet hiring Democratic insider John Podesta to its board, but it appeared to have been doomed when former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton lost the 2016 election for president. Senior company executives admitted the prospects for the renewable energy biofuels company evaporated with Hillary Clinton's loss. Former Jewel CEO Brian Baines told Biofuels Digest, quote, we had a lot of prospects last year, but those new investor prospects walked away, particularly post-election, unquote. That would seem to fill the definition of pay-to-play government corruption. About two months after Podesta joins the board of Jewel, a Russian entity called Rosnano put a billion rubles, which is about $35 million, into John Podesta's company. Podesta's close association with Russian business leaders started in 2011, when he agreed to join the boards of three intertwined companies, Boston-based Jewel Unlimited, Rotterdam-based Jewel Global Holdings, and Jewel Global Stitching, the company's controlling interest. Stitching was based in The Hague. That type of foreign investment requires financial disclosures every year. In his financial disclosure form in 2013, John Podesta failed to disclose 75,000 shares of stock that he had in Jewel Energy. The Kremlin-backed $35 million investment given to Jewel after Podesta's board appointment represented over 30% of Jewel's outside financing. Podesta also failed to disclose he was on one of the three corporate boards, part of a very complex ownership structure. He, d he disclosed he is on the board of the company in Massachusetts and the one in the Netherlands, but failed to disclose he was also on the executive board of the holding company. Rosnano USA Inc. is a Kremlin-owned venture capital firm nicknamed Putin's Child. Dmitry Akinov, the president and CEO of Rosnano USA, oversaw the Russian government's investment in Jewel and sat on its board, along with two other Russians with ties to the Kremlin. The two other Jewel Unlimited board members were Ruben Verdantian, who Putin appointed to a Russian Economic Modernization Council, and Anatoly Chubais, a close personal friend of former President Bill Clinton and economic advisor to former Russian President Boris Yeltsin. Chubais allegedly made millions in the sell-off and privatization of Russia's state-owned industries. Rosnano's CEO Akinov agreed that Clinton's loss doomed the company. Quote, we lined up investors who were willing to buy the bonds, but after the elections, with some statements from the new administration regarding potential uncertainty, the future support of biofuels was stopped. The company was not able to do the deal, and it was one of the reasons why the company was closed. The reason Jewel Unlimited is more than just an everyday business deal is that its technology, producing hydrocarbon biofuels by photosynthetic bacteria, is high-tech and can be considered strategic information. Lucia Ziobro, the special agent in charge at the FBI's Boston field office, issued an extraordinary warning in 2014 about Russian investors to startups like Jewel. Quote, the FBI believes the true motives of the Russian partners, who are often funded by their government, is to gain access to classified, sensitive, and emerging technology from the companies, unquote. She wrote in a Boston Globe op-ed. Many companies, including Shell Oil, have pursued biofuel creation using photosynthetic algae. The problem with the algae technique is that it requires the drying and processing of massive tonnages of algae. The Joule Unlimited process skips those problems using bacteria to directly excrete usable hydrocarbons. Joule Unlimited, formerly Joule Biotechnologies, was a producer of alternative energy technologies based in Bedford, Massachusetts, and started by MIT professors. The company developed a process to generate hydrocarbon-based fuels by combining non-fresh water, nutrients, cyanobacteria, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. The company planned to break ground in 2011 on a facility to produce more than 20,000 gallons of, of fuel per acre per year. Helioculture uses photosynthetic organisms, but is otherwise distinct from the process that makes fuel from algae. Oils made from algae usually have to be refined into fuel following a batch process but helioculture produces fuel directly, either ethanol or hydrocarbons, that do not need refining. The helioculture process also does not produce biomass. 
in the 2014 correspondence captured by WikiLeaks, Podesta tries to clear up the confusion regarding the shares by forwarding an email from Mark Salaki and Jewel Unlimited. Quote, the original terms were for a four-year vesting schedule, of which John was three-quarters invested. This reflects what John actually exercised, that is, 75,000 out of 100,000 options. John Podesta later tried to cover up these shares by transferring them to his daughter. John Podesta was a star catch at Jewel Unlimited. He was White House Chief of Staff for President Clinton and was senior counselor and close friend of President Barack Obama at the time he joined Jewel Unlimited. But the only way he could have been in this position to be a board member of a high-tech biofuel energy company is if he had already been running the Clean Energy Project with Harry Reid as far back as 2008. One suspects this also ties to Hillary Clinton's Uranium One influence with a group called Rosatom. In 2016, Russia's largest bank, Sberbank, where Jewel Board member Ruben Verdanian formerly served as head of its investment banking division, had a $170,000 lobbying contract with the Podesta Group, which is owned by John Podesta's brother, Tony Podesta. So here in Jewel Unlimited, we see the bald exercise of insider political influence for profit, leveraged off John Podesta's access to Harry Reid, Barack Obama, the Secretary of Energy Chu, Secretary of Energy Menzian, as well as Hillary Clinton. In short, Clinton's top campaign chief and a senior counselor to Obama sat on Jewel's board alongside top Russian officials as Putin's Kremlin-based investment fund funneled $35 million into Jewel.